Uh, hello, everybody. Um, it's uh, CEO Jimbo um, um, with uh, another story um, for you, I guess. This is um, so, sort of on a um, uh, movie, sort of art imitating life, perhaps. Um, but um, it's also about um, autopilots, um, air aircraft autopilots, and uh, maybe... Uh, vessel or ship autopilots, um, which I really don't know that much about. Um, I'm learning myself, um, but um, I'll show you what I have. Um, I um, have been working on this all week, um, and um, so and this is kind of the page that I have, plus this is kind of a little bit on the top here. Um, before I start here, um, anybody guess who that is? Um, we'll get to that later. Um, maybe there's hints on the page. And um, a uh, test question for you here. Board um, uh, for seance. Um, that has to do with the movie that we'll get into a little bit later here. Um, oh, a bo what is a board for a seance. Um, a is this. Um, B is this. C is this. And D is this. Um, so um, I'll get back to that later in the film. Um, and this is, uh, I'll get into the board later um, um, and why it's important. Um, anyway, um, I started this um, research project um, from the last um, one. I, I just really still had, it was on um, uh, uh, spooky um, stories, ghost stories of aviation and so on. And so I, I kind of like was just starting to research that further. And um, anyway, um, I... Um, uh, kind of researched the uh, crash, the L-1011 down in the Everglades a little bit, um, the, the ghost stories on that. And I researched um, Heathrow through that um, the, there was sort of like the first crash of Heath, Heathrow Airport was the uh, DC-3, the Sabina Airlines. Um, and... Um, there was a story of this uh, uh, businessman with a briefcase that was looking for his briefcase after the crash and so on. So anyway, that somehow this led into, I mean, that that's just the same thing as last time. So I was looking for something different and um, went into the miracle on the Hudson, um, looking for like miracles, but miracles, I was trying to be in, the Halloween spirit still, because I knew that this was going to be before Halloween and um, the, the sort of the last one of the Halloween series. Um, anyway, um, I, I was just striking out with aviation stories. I think I looked up ghost stories of aviation to, to search that further. So I turned to ships. I just typed in ghost ship to see what comes up. Um, and there there's a, actually two movies by the name of Ghost Ship. Um, the first one was, uh, like in the 1990s, I think it was sometime. And its story had something to do with sort of a lost cruise ship. Um, uh, uh almost the same story as, um, remember the, uh, when I told of the, the kind of the fake, um, uh, disappearance and then the fake reappearance um, of the airliner. I think that was kind of what I gathered this cruise ship story was about. But anyway, um, that they were saying that the earlier version was much different. That was 1972. Um, the earlier version was a different story. And um, so it, I, I actually, that actually fits into what I'm doing here, that this is kind of their movie, um, I don't know what you call it, marquee or poster, I guess it is. And th this was in Wikipedia for Ghost Ship 1942, I think it is. Um, and um, 
anyway, um, uh, we'll get to that in a minute and so on. Can anybody guess who this is? These two characters. Um, we'll get to that a little bit later. That has something to do with the story too. Um, um, anyway, um, let's see. Um, so, so this uh, movie um, called Ghost Ship and the 1942 version it is that I found so interesting um, uh, it is a story of this privately owned vessel that a couple owned and um, uh, they, they were kind of like heading from point A to point B and um, they ended up, the ship was sort of found just floating around with nobody on it at point C and one of the lifeboats was missing and so it was kind of a mystery and then um, uh, anyway the, the some time goes on like many years and somebody else is buying the boat later on and it's kind of like a new couple um, that took it over and with a caretaker that had been taking care of it ever since this um, finding of it floating and so on and anyway it's kind of an interesting story it seems like it's kind of a love triangle where uh, um, I'll spare you the details on that I try not to spoil the plot if I can um, um, I have not seen the movie I, I just read it on Wikipedia with the plot so they've kind of spoiled it for me and anyway um, the interesting part that I found and why I, why it fits into this so much is the original owner, and this is all fiction, um, was like a um, inventor, and he kind of added a um, um, an autopilot to it. Um, this is like back in 1942, and I guess this, there weren't autopilots so much at that time, but it um, uh, it, that he he added this system on it, and. Um, Anyway, um, so, and then there was kind of a to-do after they found this boat floating around, you know, that whether it was on autopilot or not auto, autopilot, which kind of is relevant today with the autonomous, you know, vehicles and, you know, and, and AI and all that kind of thing where it's like, I mean, you know, it, it, um, you know, they, they couldn't quite discern whether, who had control of it and, and so on. But um, anyway, um, this is kind of a ghost story because um, the new owners that took over this boat, um, a, a couple, man and wife, um, um, were having sort of ghost encounters um, and, and the people on board, the crew and the you know guests and passengers were like smelling cigar smoke and it didn't make any sense because nobody seemed to be smoking cigars and that kind of thing. And, um, so anyway, um, so they kind of were like, um, thinking that the boat, boat was haunted. And so they called in this, um, doctor, um, so-and-so, um, uh, faucet, um, of this, um, I, I, P, P, um, uh, uh, what, whatever that is, and and um, uh, he and his um, helper, Miss Manley, I think it was, um, uh, that um, basically did a seance to determine whether the boat was haunted or not. If the boat was not haunted, the couple was going to keep the boat and continue sailing it. If it was determined haunted, they were going to, I guess, put it up for sale. And, and so on. And um, anyway, um, it was determined that it was not haunted, but um, there, I, I don't know that anybody's really determined who's in control of that boat, whether, um, you know, the, um, you know, the um, crew on the helm have complete control or whether it just sort of goes by itself a little bit due to the original owner's invention. Um, anyway, um, so this is on autopilots. Oh, this is, um, if you haven't guessed, um, Curious George and um, 
um, the man with the yellow hat um, who wore a yellow suit. This was kind of well, yellow suit, like really hiked up pants kind of thing and a yellow hat. And um, I can remember this when I was growing up. I think I, was, I think Curious George books were around and so on. Um, but anyway, this, I think this kind of came out in like the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, something like that. And um, um, George, th this guy was sort of like in charge of Curious George in um uh, they were kind of like friends, although he sort of owned him and this and that um, in some of the like the early versions. And then it kind of changed more to sort of um, that, the, you know, they're just sort of like pals or whatever. Um, but um, anyway, like if he got into mischief, this guy would get him out of mischief and so on. So it's kind of almost like a autopilot on an aircraft or maybe a ship. I, I know more about aircraft, but still not much. Um, um, but um, like if, if he got into trouble, this guy would get him out of trouble. Um, I, the, the, if you read Wikipedia about aircraft autopilots, they mention George it, it is often referred to as, you know, how pilots call the autopilot. Oh, let's have George do the flying, meaning, the, you know, the push the autopilot button and have the autopilot take over. And um, the autopilot was invented at about the same time that this came out. Um, uh, starts with an S. Um, uh, the um, uh, inventor of the uh, Sperry, Sperry autopilot. Um, I can remember that when I was in going for my AA degree many, many years ago, just out of high school. Um, I took like an aviation aerospace um history class. And I can remember that story of, the, of Sperry's autopilot and him showing off to a crowd. I just watched a video on that earlier today and so on. Um, anyway, um, so um, where am I going with this? Um, um, you know, that's kind of the, the, the kind of the story you've got this going. Did I mention this is like they're just wonderful cast of characters. Uh, I, I really like this story. Not only that it has that autopilot on the ship that, you know, kind of homemade thing that makes this ship questionable whether, you know, who's in control of it. Um, and and he, all he all the guy really wanted was to, I think, just have a, you know, autopilot so he didn't have to like, you know, um, you know, uh, be in the wheelhouse every two seconds or whatever. Um, um, but, um, there's that. And I, I just watched a video, um, I think it was mentor pilot was talking about, um, you know, the future of, um, aircraft, whether they're going to continue to be manned forever, or whether they're going to become, um, autonomous. And he was talking, uh, making references to the movie, um, Terminator and referencing, um, um, Albert, so it was kind of saying, you know, is there going to be a day when Albert does all of the flying? Then? And and I I don't know Terminator. I haven't seen the story, but maybe that, that has something to do with Terminator. But instead of him saying George, he was saying Albert. And I haven't heard anybody ever say anything about George. You know, George is flying. So I don't know where um, Wikipedia gets that, but... Um, you know, that, that's not new. I, I read that on Wikipedia years ago, I think, and I can re remember them saying that, you know, that people refer to autopilot on aircraft as George, let George do the flying, and so on. And um, what he was describing about Albert seems almost like, you know, um, what Wikipedia is saying about George doing the flying. So anyway, um, that that's about it. Um uh, there's probably other things. Um, here's, um, this is Otto from Airplane, the movie. Um, and I had another one here. Here's, uh, this is Otto, um, the inflatable autopilot. Um, and, um, with Julie Haggerty, um, who was, who was the character, Il 
Lane Dickinson, and this in the background here is Leslie Nielsen, who was the character Doctor Rumack um, in the plane airplane, the movie, and so on. So um, just um, I, I guess this whole thing is on references. Um, uh, it seems like the whole world is talking about the, the you know when you talk about AI and automation and like Tesla's, you know, driving themselves and all that. People are talking about Terminator. So one of these days I'll have to see Terminator. I, I've kind of keep kind of going to Wikipedia and reading about Terminator when I hear people talking about it and so on. And I'll have to kind of figure out whether Albert has something to do with Terminator. Um, um, this is a good one to reference too when you're, you know, it, it's no, nothing is more humorous than, than um, auto, the, inflatable autopilot, I think, um, and so on. And then I, I kind of put forth maybe um, um, the world should be talking about like the relationship between George and the man with the yellow hat where it's, you know, George sort of almost represents the autopilot um, and um, the man with the yellow hat sort of represents the pilot that's controlling the autopilot and so on. And then... Um, Back to this here. Um, um, what was I going to say about that? To just sum up and conclude and, and so on. Oh, this is, I put forth that maybe this is a good reference, you know, like people use case studies, you know. Um, I, I think the Everglades crash where the burned out light bulb, um, you know, ended up in a, in a full on disaster the first um, ever wide body crash, I, I think, in, at least in the United States, um, and, and so on. People r reference that as a case study. It's like, and and then these are sort of like art imitates life studies, you know, where it's like art imitates life, art imitates life, and art Im imitates life. I, I think this story right here, it, um, um, you know, could, could really add a lot to the discussion on um, all, everything that I've been talking about and um, autonomous um, vehicles, um, um, autopilots, um, AI, um, artificial intelligence and that kind of thing, because you have sort of like this boat that seems to have a mind of itself and so on. Um and and then and then the, the seance in there too, where you know they're trying to decide whether it's haunted or not, so they kind of turn to the, um, um, you know, the seance thing. I had a drawing here of a seance board thing. If I can find it, oh, I know, I, I didn't even show you that. Back to the top here, that I, I had this kind of leftover, but this is like what a, a Ouija board looks like, um, and you have like this. Um, thing I was going to use um, the bread wrapper thing but I can't find it now so anyway um, uh, so anyway you, you just you have like two people with with this thing that kind of covers up here and it's like you know I two people sort of like you know, tensioning together here, it, you know, it, it kind of comes up on things like it comes up on two that has, you try to figure out what two means. If it comes up, no, you know, figure out what no means and that kind of thing. So it's, it's kind of like, almost like my gypsy scopes here. You spin a gypsy scope and it comes up three, you know, and, you know, it, it's sort of like, um, you know, the ghosts or spirits have kind of decided, you know, that it's going to end up on three by chance. So, you know, nothing by chance in navigation, but, um, you know, you, you, you know, all information is, you know, is useful. So, you know, I mean, if you roll a dice and it comes up two, it's like now, you know, does that, um, mean anything? Um, maybe it's just a form of, you know, like reducing stress. You have one of those squishy balls in your hand you know it's like it's just a form to sort of like calm yourself down or something like that um anyway um that's um that's it for this time um um it, it's um uh could have gone a lot better i think um 
probably could have gone a lot worse. Um, but I um, hope you know, hope you like this. Um, hope, hope it's um, useful to you and so on. Um, have a good day. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and so on. I, I uh, appreciate your time. Uh, thank you. Uh, have a good day.